Well, welcome back, everybody, uh, to our next installment of the family worship series that we've begun. This will be lesson 10. Uh, so in lesson 10, we'll be looking together at Matthew 7, verses 1 through 5, uh, continuing working through some of the sayings that Jesus gives us in the Sermon on the Mount. And Matthew 7, verse 1 through 5 says this, Judge not that you be not judged, for with the judgment you pronounce you will be judged, and with the measure you use it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. And as we saw uh, last time when we considered this verse, this is not a verse that denies uh, the ability of the Christian to make assessments of right and wrong, to render judgment in that way, but rather this is a, a verse that really addresses uh, lack of charity in the judgments that we can make, and we're capable of doing that, or uh, by making a judgment based on the wrong uh, standard. And so I want to think about both of those uh, things as we go through the week. And uh, you can begin by challenging your children to think about what would happen if God were to judge them uh, based on the same uh, lack of charity that they can have towards their siblings, towards their friends, the, the same kind of charity that they might see in us as we uh, make judgments about the people uh, around us, maybe even the people in our uh, families. And so we want to think uh, specifically about that, how the lack of charity in this case can can be a, a great detractor, a, a great cause for uh, this, this uh, saying of Christ to be applied to us. And there is a parable that Jesus gives where he... Uh, he, he elaborates on this idea. Of course, it's the parable of the unforgiving servant in Matthew 18. And if you look in verses 21 through 25 of that chapter, you'll see how uh, the servant who had been forgiven much by God is not able to forgive uh, his servant uh, or his fellow servant who, who sins against him in a much uh, less significant way. You could also look at Matthew 15 and verse 9. If you're wanting to talk to your children a little bit more about the wrong standard that people can use for their judgment, in Matthew 15, uh, verse 9, Jesus is attacking the notion that the traditions of men can at times replace the commandments of God. And that certainly is true. It's, uh, it's true in our own lives. We should point out to our children uh, as we're trying to establish charity uh, in their views of other people that we uh, commit these same kinds of sins uh, that we that we hold other people accountable for and uh, that we should recognize uh, that God has forgiven us much where whereas we are asked to forgive our fellow man uh, fairly little in comparison and so we want to make sure that uh, our kids understand that keep setting that before them as we work our way through Matthew 7 this week uh, see the words of Christ not as applying to other people. Help your children to see that they apply to you. And we will see you next time. God bless.